Hey guys, this is going to be a haul and review video. So seemingly not so long ago, but what feels like months and months ago, there was a great sale that was advertised on Outlook.com. So it was actually on February 1st, and today is the 18th of February, and it feels like it took forever for these products to arrive. I mean, come on, it's like almost three weeks. I was waiting and waiting and waiting. So today they finally arrived and I'm wearing these products on my face today. Um, they're face products, so like literally on my face, not my eyes or my lips. Um, the special was for The Balm and I would never tried this company before and I really wanted to so seeing this deal on uh, the Hatlook website I was like great I need to try this stuff. So I got all of these products for 50% off and I don't remember the prices right now. Uh, because it was like three weeks ago and on the shipping label they conveniently didn't include the prices so it's like hey even though you got 50% off it still wasn't cheap so we don't want to remind you about how much you spent just enjoy your products so anyway the website is uh, it's a cool website it's nice and easy to use of course just like online shopping everywhere else but the shipping time oh my goodness really almost three weeks that's like the longest ever so, let me show you what I got. Yay! Alrighty. So, the first thing that I have on my face, I'll go by order of the way I layered stuff on there today. The first product is Time Balm Face Primer. And in the past, I've not really been a huge of primers, but I'm kind of getting more and more into them. So, this is one ounce. And it's a nice size container. It's it's basically the size of, you know, what you would expect to see if you were buying a full-size foundation somewhere. That's what this packaging reminds me of. Uh, it is so smooth when it goes on. And what I like about it is that, uh, you know, I like to buy products that don't have parabens and that kind of stuff in them. And this doesn't really advertise that it's a paraben-free company. I think if they did they would have more people buying it that like natural products. I never really looked into it because I assumed that it wasn't a paraben-free company, but hey, guess what? It is. So, good for us. So, it says on the box that the Time Balm Primer is designed to be worn alone for visibly softer skin or under makeup so your look stays put. It also helps even out skin tone and minimizes the appearance of fine lines, and who wouldn't like that? Infused with vitamins A, C, and E, Alatonin and bioflavonoids. So that's what we've got going on here. Let me show you how it looks. So it's in this little tube. And it comes out like that. It's a uh, it's a clear product, of course. But still I'll show you. I mean it's there's nothing there, it's clear. But as you rub this onto your skin, oh my goodness, it's like rubbing velvet onto your skin. It's just incredible. It's like, it just feels so good. And the smell, it has a slight, slight smell. Kind of, kind of like baby powder. And it's just very, very pleasant. So also, again, there are no, um, no parabens in any of these products I'm about to show you. So I just think that's fabulous. So I've got that, the primer. I put the primer on and then I like, you know, checked my emails and did stuff. So I kind of like let it set in. I don't know if you need to do that, but that's that's what I did. Because I don't like to put on foundation on top of something that's still wet. The next thing that I got is Time Balm by The Balm Foundation. This is the box that it came in. And this product is uh, 0.75 ounces. So... Actually, I got more primer than I did foundation, and the foundation, I don't usually use a foundation that's formulated like this, so that's how the product itself looks, and the shade that I got it in was medium, and I think it matches my skin tone pretty well. I don't really see, like, a huge disconnect going on up there, so it has a screw-off top. And then this kind of like makeup sponge. I wasn't really sure how to put this product on because I don't use formulas that are like this. So it's like that. First of all, I tried to like, while well, I washed my hands, I certainly rub 
the way a liquid foundation would so I just took a wet you know not this well I tried to use the sponge first but that wasn't so great so I took just a regular cosmetic um, wedge and dampened it a little bit and then used that to apply so let me see if maybe it goes on better with a brush or something but I'm actually pretty satisfied with the way that it feels on my skin and with the color so that was a good find I have this one in medium that's time bomb the next product that I put on so I'm always looking for a great concealer and I think that this one did a really good job. I have it under my eyes and you really can't see any um, circles. So that's really great because I'm always sleep deprived. So this is the Time Bomb Concealer by The Balm and I got this shade in light medium. It's a little bit out of focus but you can see and I'm telling you that it's light medium and this is 0.26 ounces of product and this is like a mini version of that foundation it has a screw off top and then it comes with a cute little sponge I didn't use the sponge to apply this product I just put it on right with my finger and just tapped it right under my eyes and it worked I think really well. I'm, I'm very satisfied, very satisfied with the primer and this concealer. The foundation, I, I like it, but I need to play with it more because I'm just not really sure. But that's not a problem with the product, that's a problem with, with me. So I need to figure that out. And then the last item that I got there was this Sexy Mama Anti-Shine Translucent Powder. So I put this on with a loose brush on top of the, um, the foundation. So it comes in that little sleeve, and then here it's like a little book. Actually, I think all of the balm, like their foundation and powders, blushes, they're all kind of like that. And they have these like cute little names and girls on the front, so I think it's just really cute. They're like vintage pinup girls. So when you open it up, there's a mirror in there, and then the... Uh, the powder. So I've got that powder on and that is, that's the shade. The shade is, what is it? I think it's just transparent. I don't think, yeah, I, it's just a transparent shade. There's not really a uh, anti-shine transparent powder with tiny oil absorbing spheres. spheres. Alright, so that's cool. So that's how this looks when you open it up, the Sexy Mama Powder. And uh, let me give you a little swatch. That is the concealer. The concealer is really thick and concealing, which is fabulous what it should do. So that one is in light medium and then the foundation. I have in medium and I'll show you both on my hand right now so let's see if the light will cooperate with us so right here underneath is the foundation in medium and then the concealer in light medium and as they look kind of strange on my hand you can see them here on my face my under eye area seems Concealed. I didn't really have any blemishes to cover up, thank goodness, this time. So, face products by The Balm, primer, concealer, foundation, and the powder. So, there's my little haul and review. I'm very satisfied. So, I'll see at the end of the day how they wear and I'll give you an update. So for my first time using products by The Balm, I'm actually really satisfied and I've seen other reviews and people, some people like it, some people don't, but uh, I'm glad to have tried another um, kind of, I guess medium range. It's not super high end. I mean it's not Chanel, but it, you know, it's more than drugstore. So it's kind of a medium range price for the products. I think they're all in the $30, $40 range full price um, but like I said I got them half off so I think that's a wonderful way to try them and I'm satisfied so I would love to get them on sale again but if not I think I would probably uh, 
pay the full price because they seem to be really nice quality products. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching. Please leave me some feedback. Leave me comments or likes or whatever because I really like seeing what you guys say about my videos. So leave some love. Let me know what other um, balm, the balm products you've tried and if you've tried these and if you've loved them or hated them. Let me know and I will see you in the next video guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.